you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to do 10 minute makeup um, because we are all busy people and not everyone has time to go full glam. These dogs are gonna cause problems. But, I swear they're worse than the kids. But, so we have a puppy. Um, but, we have a puppy that's a boxer and he, he just wants to like, play and be nice with the old skipper key. The skipper key is almost, uh, how old is he, 13? Anyways, the skipper key does not like him and he the, the puppy's always trying to lick his face and stuff and so he's always growling at him. But, stop. But, let me get them real quick. Okay, now that that's over with. All right, now we're gonna do 10 minute makeup. So, it is winter, I live in Iowa and the weather causes your skin to be super dry, especially if you aren't taking care of it with um, a skincare routine, which I do have, but since Christmas, I've been like uber lazy and using the just the wipes, which are great, they're really great, but it's not doing the things for my skin that I need it to do to keep my skin not dry. So what I like to do is use a BB cream and I use this unique BB Flawless and this one is the shade Honey. It's a little too dark for me so I just put a little bit of that on my brush and a little bit of this lighter color here and just kind of mix it. What I like about the BB cream is that it's like a moisturizer. It's, it's a tinted moisturizer so you can put this makeup on and get some coverage but you don't have to worry about, you know, when you put foundation on your dry skin and it just kind of like flakes and peels and it's not very awesome at all. This doesn't do that. This moisturizes and gives you the coverage that you need or want. So you get the best of both worlds there. Just kind of evens out your skin tone, adds some moisture to your skin. I did use some rose water before we started. When I use BB cream, I don't use a, a primer because it kind of defeats the purpose, you know what I mean? Like a primer is to keep the makeup from being in your skin or like seeping into your pores and your lines. And the BB cream isn't like that. The, the BB cream you want to be on your skin. I mean, if you want to use a primer with your BB cream, then go for it. But I don't like to. So today is Tuesday, and I don't know if any of you um, watch my channel, but I do a lot of Dollar General couponing and Dollar General penny shopping. And yes, penny shopping, that means you go buy things for a penny. Like, no joke, it's like a big scavenger hunt for adults. And it's tons of fun, and you get tons of stuff for pennies if you can find them. Anyways, so today's Tuesday, and in the new penny lists, come out every Tuesday. So, we're gonna do some penny shopping later on today. If you wanna know more about penny shopping, um, I will put a card right here so you guys can see. Click on that video. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that way you don't miss all of this awesome stuff. I know I'm just like a mom from Iowa and I work from home, but I do cool things. So, definitely subscribe so that way you can keep up with what I'm doing. Got some coffee. I didn't drink all my coffee this morning, so I'm just drinking a little half cup of coffee right now. So we've got that. What I like about BB cream also, aside from it, it just really moisturizes your face, makes your face feel nice. It dries quickly, and then you can't feel it on your face. You know how foundation, like liquid foundations and cream foundations, um, you can like feel it on your face. You cannot feel this on your face, so it's really great. I'm gonna put a little bit of eye primer on my eyelids, maybe. I really, really like our eye primer. This just allows your eyeshadow to wear longer and your pigment to pop a little more. So whatever pigment you're using, whatever shade you're using is just gonna be a little bit more bright and uh, you know, pop a little bit more. Okay, all right, 
Now we're gonna do our eyebrows. Typically, if I was using foundation, I would be doing my eyebrows first, but when I use BB cream, I put it all over my face. So I'm gonna use my brow palette here and we're just gonna kind of touch up our brows. We're not gonna create like new brow um, because we just want a simple, quick look today. So just go in with one of your lighter colors and just kind of enhance your brow that you already have. Save some time. Brows do take a really long time, at least for me anyway. So, if you just want a natural look, just kind of go, go over the brows that you already have. If you are someone that has barely their brows or really blonde brows, this process might take you a little bit longer. The dogs are playing. I'm sorry. It's just never gonna be quiet on any of my videos. I try really hard. Sometimes I go out on the porch to try to like do my videos, but I'm not gonna do my makeup on the porch, so. So welcome to my crazy life. This brow is kind of patchy in some spots, so I kind of have to fill this in. I need to, I have some stuff, we're going on a cruise here in, I don't know, 15 days or something like that, a cruise that I earned through the company that I work with, and uh, so it's a free cruise, but I've got to get some, I've got to get like passports and all that stuff ready, I've got to start packing some bags, and then I need to figure out what makeup I want to take because my makeup that I have here that I use every single day is like a huge trunk like not even kidding like a huge tackle box with like three tiers that come out of it full of makeup and the reality of it is I use you know like five of those products every single day on a daily basis so I need to like figure out what makeup I'm gonna take and put it into another smaller bag we're good we're good we're good also when I put foundation on I would be cleaning up my eyebrows just to make them a little bit more crisp but since we're going with more of a like quick natural um, look today I'm definitely not gonna do that I'm gonna put a little concealer under my eyes just to brighten it up I typically don't use concealer to conceal even though maybe I should this thing right here let's do that I should have done that before I put on the BB cream let's put a little bit here and then we'll just mix it in with our finger anyways so you can use concealer to brighten under your eyes you don't have to use concealer to conceal if that makes any sense this is just gonna make you look like you didn't get four hours of sleep and have six kids and five dogs I'm sorry that it looks like I'm looking away from you guys but the way my phone is positioned I would have to be looking over here where my camera is and then I can't see what I'm doing. So, it looks like I'm not looking at the camera at all. Nobody has to be perfect with their makeup application. It just is not necessary. I know that you guys see a lot of people on YouTube that are super amazing at their makeup, you know, but that's like, not a realistic expectation. As long as you have basic knowledge of what you're doing, you can practice and, and make it work for you. I am absolutely no makeup artist, even sort of. I can't even say that I'm good at it, but I'm definitely much better than I once was. Okay, now we've brightened up a little bit under our eyes so we don't look so blah and tired. We are going to use the bronzer. This is the, it's called Beachfront Bronzer. There are three different shade options and this one is, I wanna say Hermosa. I'm not entirely positive that that's what it is. It's the medium one. Now we're gonna get a blush brush here. And I like to use this to contour with, just to kind of chisel out your round face. Or if you don't have a round face like I do, just to kind of give some definition to your assets and features. So that's the whole point of contouring, is when you create 
highlights and shadows on your face, like the, the concealer that we just put under our eyes would be a, a highlight. And then the contour would be shadow. When you create these highlights and shadows, it's kind of like an illusion to people's eyes when they look at you. So even though I have a round pumpkin head, I'm going to look like I don't have as round of a pumpkin head when I create highlights and shadows to direct people's <laughs> eyes from, from the spots I don't want them to be paying attention to. Okay, then I take a big brush like this and blend it all in. I shouldn't say blend it all in. You just wanna buff it out so it stays where you put it, but it's not a hard line. Does that make sense? I'm also gonna be doing a video on cleaning up my dreads because I need to maintain them before we go on our cruise. So be watching for that video if dreadlocks are something that interests you. Okay, we're gonna add a little brush with a blush with that same brush that we just blended this with. Just on the apples of your cheeks here. You wanna kind of put it where you put that concealer because you don't wanna look white and washed out right here. Add a little color back into your face. Just kind of stipple it on. I like to bring some down on my neck. I think it's ridiculous that people don't put makeup on their neck um, because it looks silly. Let's just be quite honest. Looks silly. Now, we are at 11 minutes right now, but I've been chatting and my dogs were fighting, and so all we have left to do is our eyes and then we're done, and then we'll just take a couple of minutes. So for our eyes, we're gonna use the Addiction Palette number six, which is my absolute favorite. If I were being quite honest with you, I'd be using bronzer for just an overall, like one shade and I'm done. Um, eyeshadow look but I really love palette six and if you've got a little bit of extra time it's definitely a palette that I would recommend everyone have so I'm just going in with this lighter color this lighter brown here and because I, we put that primer see how it's like lining up right there that's because we put that eye primer on so that eye primer is gripping my brush and wanting to keep that shadow where I'm putting it so it's doing its job. I would definitely suggest putting a loose powder over the primer just so your brush will glide a little bit easier. It's not necessary, but you won't have to work as hard when you put your eyeshadow on. I have not mastered eyeshadow yet, so don't come at me. <laughs> I have tried and tried. I The girls have... Um, Tons of really pretty, like James Charles and Jeffree Star palettes with so many pretty colors. And every time I try to like create a look using any of those colors, I look like a toddler drew on my face. So I just tend to stay with like the neutrals and the, the colors that I know I can at least blend out. If I mess it up, I can blend them out and I won't look like I was in a car accident. <laughs> you know what I mean? Someday I'll get it. I've practiced and practiced. I also can't master eyeliner for whatever reason. I can tight line, but I can't do um, wings for some reason. My daughters can take that liquid eyeliner. You guys, we have the best liquid eyeliner. Like, I love it. And it stays all freaking day long. But I cannot get that eyeliner <laughs> to do what I want it to do. It really makes me so mad. Okay, we're gonna take this flat brush here. This is actually a cream shadow brush. And we're just gonna brighten things up right here. Down here on our mobile lid, just like this. Just kind of pat it on there. You don't wanna smudge, smudge, smudge right here. Pat it on. Get clear over here in the corner. See, we're starting to look put together. We're starting to look less like a swamp monster and more like somebody that has their poop in a group. So when I go to Dollar General today and see all the people, they'll be like, oh, that, that girl has basic hygiene knowledge and doesn't look like she just rolled out of bed. Because sometimes that's what I look like. Okay, most times that's what I look like. 
Okay? Okay. All right, so, so since I cannot master eyeliner, I would typically do a tight line. I don't think I even have my, we'll see if I've got, I wasn't planning on doing this part. Oh, see, oh, this is prim. Okay, this is perfect. So this is actually an eyeliner and you can use this as a lip liner as well. So if you have hooded or aging eyes like I do, I just go above my eyelashes right here, just kind of add some depth, and then under your eyelashes right here. And what I like about these eyeliner pencils, sometimes some eyeliner pencils that I use, like you end up with all of the color over in the like corner of your eye by the end of the day, and I hate that. I don't want to worry about eye bugs. You know what I'm saying? So just color this in right here. Do the same thing right here. This is called tight lining since I'm completely uncoordinated and cannot make a straight line with liquid liner on my, on my eyelid. So then we're gonna take this also and line our lips with it. Docs. And this, this lip liner actually goes good with several of our liquid lipsticks and, um, and our lip bonbons. Where is my lip gloss that I just had out here for this very purpose? Excuse me, lip gloss, where are you? Found it. And this is my Luxe lip gloss that I really, really, really love. I do not like chat or lipstick. I'm a lip bonbon or lip gloss girl, and that's it. Just like that. Okay, now we do our eyelashes and then we are completely done. I still have this something in my hair right here. If any of you have dreads, you know that it's like, they're like Velcro. Excuse me, what is this? There we go. They're absolutely like Velcro. So this is our 4D Fiber Mascara. It is a one-step mascara that has Y-shaped fibers built right into it. Before, my dogs are at my tripod. Before, we had a two-step Fiber Mascara, and some people really loved it, but I thought it was garbage. But a lot of people, you know, really built their businesses and changed their lives with that two-step mascara. I just could not get it to ever look good. <laughs> like it always looked like it was bad. It was just bad. I just did not like it. I'll just leave it at that. I will never tell you guys that I like something if I don't like it. If I think it's junk, then then I'll tell you, just like our eyebrow pencils, we have eyebrow pencils, some people really like them. I do not like the eyebrow pencils because I have such prominent eyebrows already, such thick eyebrows already, that when I use the brow pencils, I feel like I look like I sharpied eyebrows on my face. And that's absolutely not the look that you wanna go to. I might wanna change the title of this video to 15 minute makeup, okay? And then you just let them dry. And then you take a curler if your lashes are stick straight like mine and you curl them up and we'll do that next. Okay, so you're gonna let your lashes dry a little bit because you don't wanna go in with them wet because then you're just gonna get your mascara all over your lashes. I have long lashes, I just have really straight lashes. Some people do this step before they put on their mascara, but for me, whenever I get my lashes wet with mascara, they fall even further. So I suggest doing it this way. It's just like your hair. If you curl your hair and then you go outside and it's raining or it's really humid, you know, it just kind of goes flat. That's what mine does. That's what my eyelashes do. You guys have so much hair. 
It's so much hair, it's in my way. So just curl them up a little bit. If you see that your eyelashes are sticking together a little bit, just take a spoolie and separate them. Some people like their lashes sticking together. I hate when my lashes stick together. So I really like this mascara because the brush is designed to separate your lashes. So if you have any sticking together, it just requires touching them with this little spoolie. And then you're good to go. So then you take some pretty selfies, feel really good about yourself, and go carry on with your day. And I'm so thankful that all of you are here watching. And if you could, pretty please like this video, subscribe to my channel, be sure that you're checking out the Dollar General um, penny shopping videos that I've made because everybody needs to be penny shopping. I've also got a couple of good Facebook groups and follow me on Instagram because I do tons and tons of cool stuff there. So that's it for today. And we used five products. We used bronzer, BB cream, blush, Oh, we use a lip liner, so six products. Is that right? Yes, bronzer, bronzer, blush, BB cream, lip gloss, lip liner, and eyeliner doubled as one. And our brow palette. Either way, we use just a handful of products and created a nice look. Now we look put together and we can feel good about ourselves. And that's all. Now I'm rambling, but smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, go watch these videos right here, and thank you for your love and support, always.